from the heart of Uyo, Bush House Nigeria returns with 20 questions. Many thanks, wonderful members of the audience, wonderful members of the 20 Questions community. 20 Questions, the parlor game, is on TV, is on radio, and it's also online. And on it, you always will have a panel. Sometimes there are three, some, sometimes there are more, sometimes there are less. But all they do within the confines of 20 Questions is to get at a given object. Supplied by Mystery Voice and known beforehand, by Mystery Voice, of course, members of the audience, and me, your chairman. My name is Michael Bush. Please give me a chairmanship round of applause. <laughs> I'm going to order introductions presently. First, though, let me just turn my attention to people who really, really, really matter on the program. The panelists. This edition, they are led by the hitman, I.D. James. I.D. James is general manager at UNIO FM 100.7. He's been with me on the program 20 Questions for as long as I've been chairman, and that's almost a quarter of a century. That's some time. Please give it up for him. I said that quarter of a century beat deliberately to throw shades at some people who are also on the panel. The new kids on the block, they just New Testament hands and they cannot but just manage their New Testament-ness. And um, I'll start with the immediate past director general of the 20 Questions community, and that is Chuku Agu. <laughs> Chuku Agu is a tutor, I think geography tutor, perhaps he teaches other things, but he's a tutor at Nigerian Christian Institute, NCI one of those prestigious secondary schools anywhere in Nigeria. Yeah, I was talking about Chukwagu as a New Testament hand, but there is someone who is a new New Testament hand. This would be his debut on the program. He just graduated um, first class, if you like, from the 20 Questions Clinic, and is here today as class governor of the Michael Bush Mentoring Academy, himself a public speaker and author of note. Ambassador Akan Dede. <laughs> his entire village and his dear mother, who is so proud of him, would be watching out to see whether your son was always made them proud, will continue to do so. Okay, so my mystery voice is Fone Kaiba, returns again and again on the program. My executive supervisor at Bush House Nigeria is Nigel Etisong, recently got promoted like that. And he comes here with a crop of very wonderful persons, not forgetting Godwin James, who is uh, on the audio control. And then, of course, there is a technical advisor on the program, Sisong SC, and he's been there for us. He's always helping us. He tries to arrange everything and make sure we continue to do good. I know that when we had the first edition of the program, this um, gentleman was there. We didn't acknowledge him. I think the time has come to do so. Deacon in Nyebong Jackson is the Aquibum State Coordinator of Peter Obi Support Network. He's in the audience. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> All right. So, I take other introductions as we progress, especially those who helped us to package this edition of the program, which, in any case, is in honor of Aquibum State at 35. First door, Mystery Voice, object number one. Mystery Voice. IBB. Hi, baby. Panelist, easy, easy, easy cake. Animal. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Good to have you back on the program, I.D. James. How do you feel that you have a young man who has just graduated from the 20 Questions Clinic and is coming here to, if you like, play with you on the program? So great to have you. Absolutely. That's how we received Chuku. That's uh -huh. how we received uh, Stephen Godwin. Absolutely. That's how even how you received uh, uh, Dr. Isinupe. Uh, so I've been receiving them. Even Savior, I received Savior. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He <laughs> said so I received Savior. This guy. I'm just happy that I.D. James is born again and is a pastor because if he were not, it would have been dangerous to society. Yes. Can okay, we so Mr. Chairman, now? Yes. are you looking for a human title? A human title? <laughs> Gender bias? Have you even asked me whether I'm looking for... Human. Yeah. And that's why I said human title. So okay, I, so you were asking two questions in one, so I just need to count, and then you said, is it gender bias? Three questions, no, it's not gender. Oh, it's gender bias. 
Three questions. That will give you a round of applause because it's just confusing me. Three questions, panelists. Are you looking for a group? I'm not looking for a group. Four questions. Mr. Chairman, are you looking for a female? No, I'm not. Five questions. But you should also ask me to be on the safer side where I'm looking for male. Five questions, panelists. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yeah, because, you know, gender has changed now. It's no longer just what you and I used to know. Things have changed now. Mr. Chairman. Yes. A quiet boom celebrates a quiet boom at 35. We look at a quiet boom in three phases, as it were. Yes. The past, the present, and going forward, which is the mood, as it were, of the celebrations. Mm. This title we are looking at, is it from the past of a quiet boom? The past? Yeah. Yes, it is! That's an intelligent question. Six questions. Chairman, from the past, I'm asking this question with the 10 paramount rulers in mind. Aha, that was I know. Group. You were in the audience yes, there. Yes, and that was for the traditional relationship. Yes. Mr. Chairman, are we looking at this group to cover another arm of leadership? Which group again? This, we're talking about the title now, right? Yes. Title. What title? What, what does it mean, title? I asked you Human that. title. What does it mean, human title? Mr. Chairman, are you looking for a group of acquired persons? I'm sorry, no. Mr. Chairman, we had established that. That's oh, what I was we saying. Had? We said we are looking for a human title. He asked and you said... No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not answering that. Yeah. I'm not answering human title because I asked you, what does human title even mean? Like the 10 paramount rulers. Aha. That was a human title. Yeah, this one is more than a human title. That's why I said, I said you confused me at the beginning. I don't know why I used some it to stuff on me. And, you know, so seven questions. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes. Are you looking for somebody's name? Yes, I'm looking for somebody's name. <laughs> Eight questions. I'm looking for somebody's name. So, Mr. Chairman, I, I asked if it's male. You said, oh, I asked if it is female. You said no. Yes. Okay, so we stay on male. I'm not asking a question I now. I know. So, you, you do that. You know, it's your own. Um, if you find out it's not male and it's not female, we'll come back and settle it. No okay, problem. Questions, panelists. Mr. Chairman, Agu, Agu has asked and you affirmed it so that it's in the past. Yes. We've done traditional. In some sense, but you know there are people who are in your past but who are also going to be in your future. There are some people who are in your past but they're in your forever. Yeah, that's, that's more like an evergreen. You catch the meaning now, yes. Eight questions. Mr. Chairman, let's look at the political class. Wow, why? Political leadership. Yes, a political <laughs> leader! <laughs> Nine questions, panelists. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, if I follow your lead correctly. Yes. You talked about people who Ambassador can be... Ambassador Can David speaking for the first time ever. <laughs> on 20 questions. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's important to get the history correct. Yes, go ahead. If I follow your lead correctly. Yes. You, you mentioned in the passing that some people can be in your past and yet be relevant in the future. Future, yes. This word we're looking for, does it have anything to do with immortalization? Whoa! <laughs> does it have something to do with immortalization? Like a legacy, kind of. Like a legacy name. Yes, it has! Yes, it has! Yes, it has! There are many people who would never like that answer that I've given, but I tell you, for as long as Aquaibum remains on the map, for as long as there is one Aquaibum person alive, they would never forget this name, right? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, the way you are sounding sounding as if you are talking about yo yo, but I know that's not where you are. That's not the person you are talking about. Okay. Why are they laughing? Is it a yo yo? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven questions is not a yo yo. Thank you. Okay, so Mr. Chairman, we, we talk about political leadership. Yes. And we also looking at the genesis. Absolutely. There is past. There is immediate past. Yes. There's present and then there's a future. Absolutely. The person you are looking for, is it a political leader post creation? Post creation. It is a dangerous question to answer. Because yes, he was there pre-creation, he was there post-creation, and still is there. So what answer, I.D. James, would you have given yourself if you were me? Twelve questions. Mr. Chairman. Yes. He was there before creation. He was there before creation. He was there during creation. He was there during creation. And he's still there. Is he's still there. By Mr. Chairman, are we God. looking for a living being, a man who's still alive? A man who's still alive! <laughs> 13 questions, panelists. Mr. Chairman. Yes. There are individuals who have played a part in the history, in the making of Aquaibum, mm. who are not necessarily Aquaibumites. Why do all Aquaibum people do that? You have not even finished celebrating the people 
from Akwaibom who helped Akwaibom and then you want to go abroad. No, 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 no Straight on ground. Yes. Are we looking for an acquired bomb here? No, we're not. 14 questions. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, are you looking for okay? So all that rambling he was doing, he was just building, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, let's look at the power near governor of Aquaibom State at Ooh. creation. Power near what? Military administrator of Aquaibom State. Okay. Governor. 15 questions. The first person was a military governor. 14 not, questions. Not 15 now. Military governor. Yes. <laughs> the first military governor of Aquaibum State. I'm sorry, no. 15 questions. Mr. Chairman. Yes. This this person we are looking for. Yes. Has he even held a political position in Aquaibum State before? Ah! Anytime he comes, you know what Ambassador Khan David does? He sits down there, he's not talking, he's gathering momentum, he's gathering steam. So when he hits you with one, you know how far. He hits me with immortalization, and just when I hadn't recovered enough, he has hit me with another one. This person, has never and will never hold a political position in Akwaibom State. Okay, so Mr. Chairman, let's uh, let's say that Akwaibom State was announced by a non-indigent of Akwaibom State, and yeah. this man is alive and will never hold position a in political Akwaibom position State. in Akwaibom State. Okay, who are you looking for? Are you looking for the man who announced the creation of Akwaibom State? Who is the man? Seventeen questions. No. We are building. We are building questions. The man who announced the creation. the creation on the 20... A radio man was a radio presenter. You know, all those days, uh, my name is, uh, I am the, this and this and this. I want to announce that we have created okay. Katsina <laughs> State. And, uh, <laughs> okay, that. Yes, okay, um, so who was the man? No, let, let's, was, let's establish that. Oh, we have was the man that announced... Mr. Chairman, we want to know. Who is the man? No, no, no. See, I think to be on the safer side, we should just ask the question well. Are we looking for the man who created Aquaibum or the man who announced the creation? Mr. Is it the same person? The Mr. Chairman, so suddenly Mr. Chairman is now asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put your hands together for them. <laughs> and believe me, I don't understand that round of applause. 18 questions. I go ask. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, let's come out. You want us to come out? Let's come out. Mr. Chairman, are we looking for the name of the military president who created Aquaibum? We are not looking for the name of the military president who created Aquaibom State, but we are looking for his name, which takes me right back to the genesis of this round when we looked at human title, this one, that one. It was deliberate that the chairman himself was also playing hide and seek with you. We're not looking for his name, but we're looking for his name. 19 questions, panelists. We're looking for one word hi bb <laughs> i'm not asking a question absolutely sir. you can't be you can't be asking a question what is ibb would anybody be called ibb <laughs> we have established by your lead that we are yes. looking for the military president yeah we're looking for the military president but not his name in some sense yeah he was more popular by his initials yes was the fine, more the fine boy initials yes so this is our last chance he that is down needs fear no for mr chairman absolutely and I'm, I'm happy that you know that you are down because we are going to no, get we are down, down to the twentieth. We are down because to the indeed you are going to get down. Now. No, no, no. We are, we are <laughs> down to the twentieth. <laughs> we are down to the twentieth. Okay, Mr. Chairman, with yes. the agreement of the panel, I can. David is not with you. That agreement. <laughs> I can tell you, he's not with you. Mr. President, it's unanimous. Yes, yeah, Mr. Chairman. Oh, it's unanimous. Yes. yes. Are we looking for? To uh, be careful. Mr. You know, <laughs> Chukwagu, be careful. Yes, Mr. Chairman. If you care so much, we understand. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, are we looking for the beautiful initials IBB? We've we'll been looking for IBB. <laughs> yeah, even when we may not connect with him every day, we may not uh, see him, uh, no matter what happens now in the future, I think Akwaibom, I believe, Akwaibom would forever be thankful to IBB. General Ibrahim Badamursi Babangida retired, was then military president, when just like that, in the morning of the 23rd day of September in the year of our Lord 1987, he announced the creation of Akwaibom State. And he did that, I think, side by side as ID James tried to allude to earlier, side by side with Kasina State. So we're grateful. Put your hands together for IDB! Mystery Boys, they got that, so we're running back to you for object number two. Mystery Boys. Delirium. Delirium. Panelist, abstract, bad news. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Is it now? 
and on. One word. One word. Virtuous now. Virtuous. Yes, it is. Three questions. You know, I wrote recently in my column, Talking Nonsense, um, every Monday in Daily Sun newspapers, that every time you see a word or you hear an expression, you should ask for the context. If you don't get the context, then sit down. So this word, contextually, you know, for us now on 20 questions, is a positive word, but elsewhere would also be a vice word, a negative word. So work with us. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman. Yes. is this word a human attribution? Yes, it is! Four questions. You know, this is my class governor for class 2022, the Michael Bush Mentoring Academy. I'm very pleased with him. So, and just considering that today is his first day, even when he asks the wrong question, I'm always going to say the right answer. So, right. Mr. Chairman, that's exactly my fear. Yes, four that's questions. That's exactly my fear because the way you answered yes. that, yes, it is. It's, it's mm. like, yes, absolutely. Bring it on. Absolutely. Mr. Chairman, just manage me like that. Yes. This word, I'm looking at it in the context of emotions. Is that right? Yes, it is! Yes, it's so right! Five questions. I like intelligent questions, and I give it to this panel. Thank you. Yes. Oh, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Let's still go back to that idea of past, current, present. Absolutely. At the creation of this state, of Aha. Aha. I, I, I was a kid. I did not participate in the euphoria, but I've read. Euphoria? The I like the word. Yes, the, the creation of the state. I, I, euphoria? I, yes, I read about the reception of the military governor yes. from the head bridge all the way into this. Yes. Does this word factor in to that? Word? Yes, it does! Yes, it does! <laughs> Six questions to quadro. As a matter of fact, the word is on the program as the reaction of a Kwaibom people the moment then military president Ibrahim Badomosi Babangida was done with his announcement. Six questions, you know, creating a Kwaibom, you know, the part of uh, the mainland, the part of old Cross River State. So this is the word, this is the word that followed it. And I'm sure you follow the chronology, the way we're doing things on this edition. Of okay, the so program. Mr. Yes. Chairman, let's establish that this word as given by the mystery voice yes. looks totally negative, but yes. positive in the form of the euphoria. Absolutely. Absolutely. So are, are you looking you for a, a, a volcanic word? In some sense, yes. In some sense, yes. <laughs> Seven questions, panelists, but I'm wondering how that's going to help you. Because I know that in the end, we might have to settle for volcano. Volcano? No, I'm not. I'm not asking. A I question. know. In the no. end, right? We might I remember. Like yes, I will remember that. Yes, several questions, panelists. I like the way you reacted to the word volcano. Yes. I like the way you reacted when you mentioned Absolutely. the Absolutely. Yes. When we talk about volcanic geography, we yes, talk again. about eruptions. Yes, come again. Yes. Eruptions. Yes. Eruptions. And there were, were, were eruptions. Absolutely. At, at that moment yes. when that announcement yes. was made. Mr. Chairman, are we looking for the word eruption? Almost. Eight questions now. Is yes. it a synonym for eruption? Yes, it's possible. Nine questions. I'm trying to situate the word. Yes. It's a difficult word. It's a unique word. Mm. Hardly we hear people speak it, you know. But it's on the program so that people can remember what it means. Is that an English word? It should be, of course. <laughs> Ten questions. I'm, I'm, I'm asking that we start to school and develop it. Um, I know. Ten questions. I know. I get it. Mr. Ten Chairman. Questions. Yes. Mr. Chairman. Eleven questions. Yeah. Addressing you some minutes ago, I used the word. And you, you repeated that word twice. Yes. What was the word? Once we spoke, twice I heard. Mr. Yes. Chairman, are yes. you looking for euphoria? Euphoria? Yes. Euphoria? Yeah, I think it's closer to euphoria than it is to volcanic. 12 questions. Is it an E word? It's not an E word, but you never know. Mr. Chairman. 13 questions, yes. The word we're looking for. So after E is what? Before E is what? We've got to look at that, yes. The word you're looking for, because you mentioned that somehow it could have some uh, negativities attributed to mm, it. Yes, sure. A, a point be, that uh, I did James re echoed, yes. Can it be linked to an after effect of, of alcohol consumption? In some sense, yes, it can. It can. And I hope that um, Chukwagu does not accuse me of things you should never accuse your chairman. Because, I mean, when I answer with excitement, I answer truly and genuinely so. 14 <laughs> questions. Yes, it does. Yes. A dynamite. A dynamite. Has capacity to cause eruption. That's what the geographer said. 14 questions. Is that what he said? It's a Wait. delicious word. 
It's a deadly word. A D word. It's a D word. The children are looking now, for drunkenness. Questions. That would not be a positive word, would it? 16 questions. It's a D word. Deadly word. D E L I. That's why I said it's a delicious word. Because I wanted it to just think around excitement, the kind of mad excitement. People were so excited, they were almost going nuts because a choir boom had been created. You know, although sometimes I'm wondering 35 years after, is that mad excitement still there? But that's a question for another day. Dr. Trinity Tom of Fido, thank you. The Europe Commissioner Lance, a choir boom state, Captain Inebo Kong retired, thank you. Governor Dumi Maros, Chief Press Secretary and Senior Special Assistant Media, Mr. Kerry Tudor, thank you. The chairman, when it's like this, it's difficult in the... It's dry. Can you can you sprinkle some water on it? Make yes, sure, water. I can. I told you it's a D-E-L-I word. Want me also to tell you? D-E-L-I. Yes. There's no way, the moment you get that root, you know, D-E-L-I. You, you should know what it is. Mr. Chairman, we're looking for delight. What's that? Spell it. Delight. D-E-L-I-G-H-T. It's delight in the class of... Uh, Euphoria. Euphoria. Delight. 17 questions. Perhaps after the I, you can think of an R. You can think of an O now. Let me confuse you. You can think of an M. Mr. Chairman, are we looking for the word Derelius? 18 questions. I'm afraid <laughs> no. We're looking for noun. Oh, oh, Derelius said, is an adjective. We said so. We said, yes. we said no. Yeah. So if it is not Derelius, according to you, what is it therefore? What is the noun form of that word? Uh -huh. Are we looking for deliriousness? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, that's, that's, uh... I'm afraid I cannot say yes this time. <laughs> 19 questions, panelists. You just spoke the word, and all you're looking for is an M to help you. Mr. Chairman, are we looking for Derelium? <laughs> spelling. Mr. Chairman, for the sake of uh, integrity, yes. the, spelling, the spelling part was not going on air. <laughs> delirium. It's Delirium. And this goes out to parents. I see parents saying they are teaching their children um, homework. I've never done that. I would never <laughs> do it. Because I don't want to draw blank on a particular question. Or as uh, Godwin James, you know, I was, I was teaching the Michael Bush Mentoring Academy class 2022. I think just a couple of days at the point of this recording. And when I brought up this case, and Godwin James even brought up a better case and said that he has, I think, the nephew or the niece whose mother did her assignment and she took it to school and failed and came back and said, Mommy, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I understand. We'll try and save what remains of your little image. Small, small like that. 19 questions, 20 now. So the boss, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a changed man. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you wanted to talk about delirium. 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 Uh, no, it's still to spell it. It's the spelling problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spelling problem you know, that we talking have. Talking about the spelling, yes. about the spelling thing. Where, where I work, yes. my colleagues are here. Yes, they are. Ah, I saw Victor Dante. Yeah, yeah. 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 Esther Effion is here. Esther Effion. Yeah. Put your hands together for Esther Effion. <laughs> Department of Life Sciences. When we work, we test ourselves, we improve ourselves every day. So we had a spelling test. I don't know, I don't know what Daniel's got. <laughs> yes, we had a spelling test because we must be up to speed to be able to teach the children. Absolutely. Strange words. At times, everyday words. So, what is the spelling of delirium? R I U M. D I U M. R I U M. Please put your hands together for them. So, that is what greeted the announcement by military president Ibrahim Badamosi Babangira, as he then was the creation okay vis-a-vis -vis the creation of aquaibum states from what was then mainland part of the old cross river state delirium and they, they got that they wobbled and fumbled and you know but they still got that mystery boys object number three aquaibum state aquaibum state panelist vegetable mineral with strong human connection thank you very much mr chairman yes id james is it a place a place an acquirable place. An acquirable place. Mr. Chairman, is this place a natural place? A natural place. I hope so. Three questions, panelists. Mr. Chairman, since almost everything is still connected to what we are discussing, that is acquirable at 35. Yes. Is it? Is this place very, very significant to acquirable state 
anniversary. It's, it's not significant. It's fundamental. This place is inevitable. Without this place, we wouldn't even be discussing what we're discussing. So the place is like that. Is that important? Four questions, panelists. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Is this place even a physical place? Yes, it is. <laughs> Whatever that means. Five questions. Mr. Chairman, let's look at a building. The building. A building. A building. Are you looking for a physical building? A monumental building? A monument? Sort of. No, I'm not. Six questions, panelists. But you never know. Mr. Chairman, we have established from this question that we are looking for a natural place. Yes. Like I would always say, geographic location. Yes. Okay. Are we looking for a town? Seven questions. We're not looking for a town per se, except if you, you, I don't know how you do it in geography, and I don't want to run foul of your law because I don't want it to come after me. I don't know when you look at the world, the bigger picture of the world, how, for instance, Africa appears there. Can Africa be called a town, for instance? Seven questions. And then just a moment ago, somebody asked a question about a monument. Perhaps there's a place like that in the United States. It's going to be built. I'm not sure it's already built up. I think Governor Dom Emanuel of Akwaibum State, Nigeria, is working to have a place like that. I don't know. But right now, back to winning ways. Seven questions, no. Are you looking for a territory? I'm looking for a territory! <laughs> yes, I am. Eight questions, panelists. I'm looking for a territory. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Does this place feature prominently in the creation history of Akwaibum? Yes, it does! Nine questions, panelists. Yes, it does. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Aquaibum was carved out of a state. Absolutely. And a region. Absolutely. Are you looking for something within what I'm saying? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mr. Chairman, are you looking for Aquaibum State? I'm looking for Aquaibum State. How did you get that? How did you get that? I'm looking for Aquaibum State, actually. <laughs> Put your hands together for them. I never saw that coming at all. I never saw that coming. As a matter of fact, I was waiting for him to take us to Old Cross River State, take us to the mainland park, take us to the, you know. But they got that rather cheaply. We'll be looking for Aquaibum State, the states that has become like our motherland, like our fatherland, and we all jubilate over Aquaibum. How good does I even believe? How good does I believe? Yeah, we're looking for a Bible state, really. <laughs> and that's how it is sometimes. It, it looks like magic, you know, but we're looking for a Bible state. They don't if, want to go. Even me, if, you know, even me, I am, I don't know. So that's the end of this edition <laughs> of the program. Word of Honor, Bush House, Nigeria, appreciates Mr. and Mrs. Equere, Equere Jr. Congratulations. 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 So nice to see you. Thank you.